I wanted to add a scroll saw to the smart workshop system, but I didn't want to buy another tool and I didn't want to have to make room to store another tool and I didn't want to have to set up another tool when I needed it. I decided that path of least resistance, use what I have. I have a couple of these jigsaws and I did not want to bolt them permanently to anything because I need to use it this way freehand. So I thought about it and sticking to my passion for less is more or less but better, I made a scroll saw with a piece of scrap, 18 mil ply. I didn't use any screws, any nails. It is simply a piece of plywood with holes cut in it with wood taken away. It's that deductive design that I love so much. I took the saw that I had and I figured how to mount this saw to this quickly. This one has a removable plate by simply popping it off with one lever, no tool needed. So it was real simple after that. I just cut out a square and I rabbited it just so that this foot would just drop in. And it snugs in there, so I made it perfect fit. I did this with a couple of pieces of plywood and a bushing and a router bit. You know, I build almost everything that way. It's my poor man's CNC. But once I mount that on there and I put the saw in it, then it's, it's ready to go. So it just hangs in by gravity at friction, fits in. And then because I stuck with the system, the bench dog holes drilled 20 millimeters, 96 millimeters apart. I can mount this so many locations. Now with this particular setup, I, I can't get it in the bench. I probably could with a little finesse, but I didn't want to bother. I use the router tables. So this was a perfect place for me to put it. I can mount it with the blade this direction or the blade this direction. But I'll just put it on this way for now. And the blade will just index right into whatever hole and that indexes uh, all the other holes for using the power locks. And then plug it in. I can also use the bench dogs that go all the way through if I want to set up a fence or if I want to set up a guard. Obviously, I've got a moving blade here, so I have to be careful not to cut myself. With this particular scroll saw jigsaw from Festool, I can actually change the blade without taking the saw back out. There's a little push button on the side that ejects it. And then to put it back in, just push down and turn and it's ready to go. So this is going to be a nice setup. I can actually, uh, when I set it up and I'm using it, if I am using my router tables, then I can just pop the blade out, and leave it there. This is going to be a nice little add. And again, it's just one piece of plywood that I actually can store it right in the cubby alongside the two jigsaws. This is just one example of the Polk Smart system and the 32 millimeter system, how it can work together, how you can be creative and create uh, simple, efficient tools that can work with the system. I'd love to see your ideas. If you're interested in getting a detailed set of plans to build the Polk Smart wood shop or any of the Polk Smart benches or any of the accessories that go with the system, there's a link in the description of the video down below where you can go purchase plans and then download them instantaneously 24-7, 365. Mahalo.